Hello, I'm Legendaries, aka CT Stealth, and I'm here to demonstrate the basics of expression scripting. Um, for those of you that do not know what scripting is, it is the process of creating a program, like similar to coding, and creating a for your variables to do something. Uh, such as if I wanted to move this box back and forth at random, random intervals, I can do so. Uh, through scripting. Uh, creating a random scenario such as this can be effective because you want a random number but you don't know in you don't want to animate the keyframes by hand. I could animate the keyframes by hand and it would be the exact same each time but if I randomize it I can have a say a whole bunch of leaves stirring in the wind. To first to access the expression editor you need to go to the attribute editors. Uh, the attribute tab. Any shapes and nodes found in Maya can be used to be creating an expression. I'm right clicking any of these black wordings and I will get uh, choices in which I can do it. So in order to create the expression that I wish to create which is I want this to go along the z-axis and be random from here to here. That's probably, according to my grid, that's between 25 and negative 25. In order to do that, I'm going to come over here to the translate and right click, click create new expression and I will get the expression editor window. I write any of the script here and I gain access to the attributes via here. If the attribute is not listed, I can look for it in the channel box where I have even more sets. So in this case, I've clicked polycube. I click polycube objects here and now I have the attributes for here. If I know the attribute offhand, I can simply type it in my expression. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that you have the right selection. So, if I want to go along the z-axis between the two numbers, 25 and negative 25, I need to make sure that I select the translate z. This is the name of the object and this dot is designates the ab attribute. So this is the name and this is the attribute. If I control C and then control V to paste it in my expression, I simply just have the object's name and translate attribute. I need to do something with this. In order to create an expression, you need to remember the basic prim principles of mathematics. If you remember, uh, the slope of, an, of a line is mx plus b. In order to get from a random interval, what I'll have to do is take this 0 to 1 and somehow manage it to get in here. Why do I say that? Well, because the command for random intervals, I can create a noise of time. Noise is the command for random interval, not necessarily the word random, but the spatial noise. It's like the fuzziness. Uh, the the single dots that just create this, the particular points. Time represents how fast it does this. So if I keep it in the same format as my my mathematical principles, I can use m x plus b. Noise represents m, and x represents re represents the time. B would be the interval. Noise is only is a command, but its only function is between 1 and negative 1. That's just how the program command is ran. So in order for me to get to 25, I need to make sure that I, whatever this number is, I add 24 to it, because the maximum is for these two combined can only be 1. So 1 plus 24 equals 25. So whether this is negative or not. However, this will only, currently, will only do between 1 and then add 24. So if it's 0.05, it's going to add 24 to it. But that's not what I want. What I want is a random number. 
So what I'm going to create is a variable. A variable is a is like an integer in which I plug in in order to create the expression. So if I want to place some random variable here, I need to define the variable in which I use this. It's the same exact variable. The variables are always designated with a dollar sign located right in front of the variable. So the dollar sign r is equal to my new expression. The command for random is rand and it has this format. The x variable is here and the y variable is here. It's separated by a comma. These represent the two points in which I wish for it to be randomized. So if I wanted to be between negative 25 and 25, then I put negative 25 in the x and negative and positive 25 in the y. So now my new expression will be, okay, here's the attribute, here's the noise, the time, which will equal 1, plus some random variable between negative 25 and 25. So I'll create the expression, and I have a syntax error. You need to make sure that you always have a semicolon to designate the ends of the commands, or else the Maya program will not be able to read it. So I click Edit. Now all I have to do is expand my time bar and click play. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions feel free to ask and I will try to answer them as best as I can.